Hello guys and welcome at my channel. In today's video I would like to explain why e to the power of x is equal to the limit of 1 plus x divided by n to the power of n. So let's see. We previously discussed that this limit exists and makes sense. Now we just um, consider the same uh, limit that we would like to start with but we make a substitution and we define x divided by n as 1 divided by k which means n would be k times x as you can see it right here and since n is uh, supposed to be a infinitely large positive number we are um, taking k uh, having the same sign so it's also infinitely large and positive so x for these purposes must be positive as well otherwise as you can see if x would be negative k must be negative as well but for the sake of argument let's consider x to be positive so we are substituting right here we are bringing instead of this n um, k times x as you can see we are canceling the x values we have k to the power uh, times k to the power of x instead of n right here and um, once we've done that and we've cancelled we have k uh, towards infinity 1 plus 1 divided by k to the power of k only and then I can take x outside of uh, the parentheses because of the power rules. Now you see this limit only is only dependent on k um, and not dependent on x. So x is a kind of constant value so we can kick it out outside of the limit and we're here and this limit is e and now it's e to the power of x. So that simple is uh, the idea and now let's consider maybe some examples so of course we know that the limit for example n towards infinity of 1 plus let's say minus 1 divided uh, by n to the power of n well once again if x is negative then k must be negative as well but the procedure would be completely the same we have um, just immediately e to the power of minus 1 what about limit n towards infinity of 1 minus 1 divided by n squared to the power of 1. Well, we, you can see this is the binomial formula that we're dealing here with. We can rewrite that as 1 minus 1 divided by n times 1 plus 1 divided by n to the power of n. And now we can split it into the product of two limits. So we would have 1 minus 1 divided by n to the power of n times the limit n towards infinity. 1 plus 1 divided by n to the power of n. We are using the product rule of the limits. We only can split the limits if we can make sure that the two um, new limits uh, are already existent and um, they are existing as you can see. So the first one is e to the power of minus 1 and the second one is e to the power of 1 and their product is e to the power of 0 which is 1. We're going to use this kind of limit pretty often in our common uh, coming lectures and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and understood something a bit more about mathematics. Stay tuned, stay at my channel and have a good evening. Greetings from Bissolo. Bye-bye.